What is happening, y'all? Welcome. I'm back. We are officially a blood knight. So, uh, if you did not check out the poll, obviously we are switching it up. Uh, we are going to be running a blood knight build for both the uh, Arc Dragon Peak as well as Ashes of Ariandel. And then after we get done Ashes, we will be running a Cryomancy build for the, uh, the Ring City DLC. So... Uh, what was really nice, the mod actually has like the, the cheat engine table with all the spells and shit, so I just added in all the stuff I didn't have, so thankfully the respec didn't take as long as I thought it would, but as you can see, I have all the blood spells, all the ice spells. I uh, also went ahead and upgraded my gear so that, you know, I have, I have uh, comparable to what I previously had. So, let's talk about the blood build. Quick updates. Uh, so, because this is a combat-oriented build, we are running Havel's Ring. We need that equipment load. Beyond that... Uh, we switched up to this shell, which is dark attacks by 10%, blood, uh, all the blood stuff does dark damage. So we have dark attacks there, luck, which helps with bleed, and then miracle consumption, blood defense, whatever. The rest of it's really nice. Uh, we're going to keep this for the health regen and defense and spell slot, and then of course ring a favor as well. So there were a couple of different blood sets. This one felt like the best for a warrior style play. Uh, it's basically dark damage and weapon damage split. Uh, there were a couple other sets. Let me see if I picked up the the other blood. I think I may have picked up the other set. It's like um, black dress. No, that's the that's the sorcery one. Anyway, it's it's basically a pure caster. If you were playing like a, a priest of sorts, so you have like really high. Uh, it's something like this. You have really high miracle FP consumption. So not that big of a fan. I think this will work better. Plus, it's it's tankier. So, uh, as for the Talisman, we have two of these. Um, the damage, even though the spell buff is, is different between them, the damage is basically identical. Um, which, actually, this one needed 40, so I can't even use that anymore, so it doesn't matter. Um, but this one allows me to heal, whereas this one reduces the cost of spells. And, personally, I'd rather have a access to a heal, given that we are going to be uh, more in the fray, more fighting, you know, stuff like that. Uh, let me get rid of that guy. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? There we go, you're gone. Uh, let's talk about spells. So I've gone through all of the blood spells. I think this is going to be my loadout. So rise again. Oh, I already, already went and took it off. Son of a bitch. I guess I could put it right here. It won't matter. Uh, so rise again. This is really cool. It's going to give us a chance to cheat death. Kind of similar to uh, Tears of Denial. So when this procs basically, for, for very briefly, our HP hits zero. This is going to stop healing, but it's going to reduce stamina and FP cost for 30 seconds. Uh, and when it says prevent healing, it means like I can't use my Estus to heal. So I could still use my blood stuff to heal. So really cool. Uh, we have Vampirism, which this is just going to be 45 seconds. It causes enemies to bleed as long as I'm standing near them, and it heals me. Obviously pretty nice. Uh, we have Wrathful Spirits. This is very similar to the spell Gale uses. It's a little bit of a longer cast. But this will be really good. This is like a, a ranged bombardment type thing for enemies that might be hard to hit. Rain of Blood I'm not going to use a lot. This takes a big chunk out of my health, like 60%. Uh, but this is a really strong AoE clear for when I'm outside. Blood Assault is crazy. This thing is like a blood Kamehameha. It just launches out like a constant stream uh, of like blood and maggots that can get multiple bleed procs. Very, very strong under the right circumstances. And then uh, Exsanguinate. This is also very, very high bleed damage, and it's like a channeled heal type thing. So there's a couple other stuff that's pretty cool. Um, Vampiric Grasp, this is, is similar to, you know, you grab stuff and you heal. Didn't really like it. Life Hunt Blade is really nice, but this is very similar to the Fair and Flash Sword. So you need to actually spam this over and over again, which I didn't like that much. Uh, bite Gnaw, Door Snawling, you're obviously aware of all three of these. That's, you know, pretty standard. It's just, it's blood. Uh, blood Feast, this is kind of cool. 80 seconds worth of maggots, basically perpetual blood buildup, but I don't think that's needed uh, with Vampiric. Blood Orb is basically just a weaker version of Doris's Gnawing that costs a little bit less. Uh, Siphon drains blood away and heals you, but we have Extanguinate, so we don't need that. Life Hunt is still Life Hunt. Uh, blood Blade, <clears throat> pretty decent. We're getting bleed and dark damage, but my weapon has a built-in buff, so we don't need that. Oh, silence, of course, not going to be needed. Uh, deep protection, I mean, this is good. Deep protection is good. It just didn't really feel like it fit, so I'm not using it. And then the last thing is Blood of the Dark Soul, which this thing, this thing would nuke. It's like, it, it basically does 
like a triple Doris Nalling, um, does a lot of damage, but, I mean, a single cast of this is like 40% of my health, so it's kind of expensive, man. Like, if I'm, if I'm doing a cast like that, something needs to, uh, something needs to die. Uh, and I did not feel that stuff was dying as fast as it should using it, so I might show it off, but otherwise, uh, this is, this is our loadout. So as for our weapons, we got two we're going to be rolling with, the Morian Greatsword and the Morian Spear. Uh, both of these weapons are dark damage and bleed. Basically, they're, they're perfect for a build like this. Uh, the Greatsword is in the Untended Graves. The Spear, of course, comes from the, uh, the Soul of Lillian. So I'll be switching between those just to keep things fresh. Anyway, off to Arc, Arc Dragon Peak we go. The, the Frost Spells should be really fun, but there's actually, even though I've already added the Frost Spells, a lot of those Frost Spells come from Ashes, so I figured, you know, whatever. We'll get through Ashes, and then we'll do the Frost Build when I would have, like, properly earned that stuff. Um, but just to give an idea, these things are really cool. They have, like, insane AR. Like, when you have the stat requirements, it's like 2,500 AR, but... Uh, that's goofy. For Frost, probably going to be working with, I have this Frost Katana, a Frost Axe, Freed Scythe, and then Frozen Fists. So, the, the Frost build's going to have a bunch of different weapon choices, which will be cool. That it has like piercing, it's really cool. Don't know if this will be more powerful than the Necro, but let me check. I think this spell actually might last until I die. Yeah, I think that's just on. Oh, my covenant. I never changed my covenant. Let me go to the Liliana covenant. Where's that at? Liliana. Um, restore health over time. Perfect. Yeah, see, look at that. Look at this badass thing. It's the Morian Greatsword. That's kind of cool. When it's enchanted, it has all kinds of specials. Do the, do the light attacks different too? The light attacks aren't. Yeah, when this thing's buffed though, actually it doesn't even look like the buff values are showing up on it. Either way, it's 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 beefy, man. It's a really cool weapon. I mean, that's the goal here. We have a couple spells, but this is, uh, we're going to play this more like a, uh, a battle mage. So a big emphasis around combat. Um, you know, obviously we're doing melee damage. Let me show off some of the other spells. The Wrathful Spirits. See, not, not too crazy, but I feel like it'll be really good, um, Really good in certain circumstances. Blood Assault I like a lot. Of course, we have no FP flasks. Thankfully, the only thing that really burns through my, my FP is uh, Extanguinate. So otherwise, um, you'll notice the, there's both an FP and a health component to a lot of our spells. 
but that's so that's why uh, HP recovery is, is so important here and I may even there's uh, you know that 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 one miracle spell that I can put on <clears throat> where it's just like lots of heal over time I may go for that um, that would obviously fit in just just wonderfully here but I don't know we'll, we'll see I might I might have too many spells that I don't really need You're just gonna block everything, basically, is what this comes down to. Oh shit, there's a charge where I can hold it. Boom, boom. That's badass. Sit your ass down. Rain of oh. Oh shit. It's not bad, it's not bad. A little bit better than, uh, you know, just absolutely destroying lives with our Necro. It didn't feel as, uh, as like I am a unstoppable god. Ocean, Lion Knight, Band of Quickening, Dragon Fists. Still loot on this thing. Uh, what are these? They're fire damage. EECC Flame Torrent. Well, I'll try it. It's kind of cool. I mean, right now, every spell has a purpose. Let's see, can Wrathful hit someone like you? So that's gonna be, that's good for me to pull people over. Yep, somebody's weak to bleed, damn. So I like Blood Assault. Blood Assault's really nice. And Sanguinate is the closest thing I have to a heal. I, don't know, I, I might drop Wrathful Spirits.
Because I was hoping Wrathful Spirits would be like my good, you know, enemies that are hard to hit attack. Um, but using it against the boss, he just blocked it. I'm pretty sure that guy would have blocked it. It was the Blood of the Dark Soul thing. God, it just hurts to use that. It's so much damage. And I don't think I can use this inside. Yeah, I can. Right there. I was like, where? I was like, I hear these things. Yeah, we're gonna drop that guy. I might put my heal on instead, because since I am using a lot of health with the cast, even more heal per second. Sword though. Mm, sword's giving me life. This thing is good. Gotta thank the, uh, the Discord server for talking about this one. So I was looking through a bunch of weapons and I was gonna use the, uh, the sword from the Royal Dark Wraith because that's dark damage and casting speed, but I was like, eh, I don't know. You know, I really, I feel like for the, the Frost build, I want something that applies Frostbite. And for this build, I want something that applies Bleed. And I was looking through, and a lot of the bleed weapons were just very, like, eh. And there wasn't anything about them that made me be like, this is, this is what I want to use. But this thing, this thing's badass. Does this go it, that far? It does. Man, talk about a snipe. I don't think there's anything up here anymore, but I'm going to climb up and look. Oh, well, there is. There's something over there. there. I was like, I, I briefly caught a glimpse of a uh, shiny. I thought it was over there, but it might have been that one. And 
another stone plate. When we get to the next bonfire, I'll, I'll slop on some, uh, some other spells and switch up to the spear for a bit. I think the actual, like, lore, because I know that they wrote, like, a little bit of lore, um, for this, and it's that, uh, like, Liliana is related to Sister Freed, and it's something like Liliana and Kaith, they're there because Freed failed to link the flame or some shit, so, when you think about that, it's kind of cool that I'm using the, the, uh, like, li or, uh, what's her name, spear, and the other, like, blood-oriented weapons, because it, I don't know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, or nerd. So I'm like, oh. Thinking about the way that the lore ties together. That dude almost did some work. I know you're not trying to hit me with a bleed spell. I am the god of bleed. I think that was a running plunge attack. It is. I thought that was just the third hit in the combo. I didn't know it's a running attack. That's so fucking cool. I'm actually really, really dark here. I was like, oh, I'm not going to need the torch at all. And then I get here and I'm like, I can't see. Who made it so dark? I'll say there's an ambush right there. to swing this thing around here but I think the I think it's a unique move set that they added onto it too or somewhere it's a little more open this bonfire area down here is like wide open that thrust is very quick go so we are gonna drop wrathful spirits <sighs> let's put on blood of the dark soul I'll show that off and then instead of blood assault hmm I do like blood assault let me let me try and and go uh put you on how long do you 45 seconds Put you on, and then we'll put you on. Then we have rain, we have blood, and we have sanguinate. Okay, we'll do that. And as promised, let me swap to now ah, the spear.
don't know if I'm going to need to level anymore either. I'm at 125 right now. Pretty good stat distribution, all things considered. As you can probably guess, of course, this has some flashy as shit uh, weapon art. It doesn't seem to have the uh, persistent buff that... I forgot it has, um... Yeah, this one doesn't get buffed the way the greatsword does. So actually, I could use the, the blood dark blade with this. supposed to be, but sit your ass down. Little little spin a roo. Seems like the weapon art on this, um, seems like we get near instant, uh, bleed application, very similar to how I did with the scythe. Oh my god! <laughs> I have, I don't think I've ever seen that. Wow! That was crazy. Fortunately for them, my health is just like tick, 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 just keeps climbing up. I just gotta, I gotta maintain my, my vampirism buff. Cause it, what's nice about that is it heals you, uh, even if you aren't, like even if there aren't enemies in range, the vampirism is still vampirism. It's still going to heal you and go off and, you know, do the whole vampirism thing. I wonder if there's still going to be the annoying dragon that spawns here. Or if they've gotten rid of him. Oh, it's a twirl into a thrust. That's kind of cool. We got thrust, twirl, thrust. Okay. Oh, that's Havel. Okay. Well, in that case, let me reapply my buffs.
Oh shit! <laughs> Bro, he hurts. He straight, he straight bonked me. He just bonked me and I died. I was, I don't even know how to feel about that. I was just like, damn, Apple, I think you're going hard enough. I wonder how this would work with uh, Lich Form from Necromancy. Because if you think about it, when you pop Lich Form, your FP costs are converted to health costs. But this uses part FP and part health. Though, and I don't think Rise Again worked there. That Something's wrong with Rise Again. Rise Again... In theory there, when Havel booped me, I shouldn't have died. I still should have, you know been boot proof briefly I don't know that's that's kind of shitty I made um I mean worst case I can just go get tears of denial and slap that on instead and kill Havel and then the bonfire is like right after him if I remember I mean, that's assuming it's in the same spot. They may have moved it. Is this thing gonna come out? No, you're gonna stay there. Okay, you gotta stand still. Hippity hoppity, oh, Jesus. Okay, so I think it worked, but it didn't work. So what it looked like what happened there was it looked like I took a hit and then I briefly had like a pinch of health for just a second, like just an itty tiny bit of health, but it looked like I fell down into a, uh, like what, what it looks like ha is happening here is it looks like I'm getting hit and then I'm falling into a death animation. And then during that death animation, like it looks like you're supposed to like literally die and rise again, but he's just smacking me before I can rise again. And then that's that. I wanna show you all these things. I don't know if they can going way over on weight uh, I would need to do uh, have a strength ring that gives me oh I guess because they're paired it doesn't count as two handing it oh well my blood ring nope that.
really confident that there's going to be a bonfire after Havel. problem here is that he he just hits me and I die like I can't I don't know how to fight back actually you know what hang on a second we're gonna I said there's probably going to be a bonfire right after him because he seems almost... Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, no. What is this? Get off of me! Oh my god. What the hell? Oh, that was terrible. That was, oh man, that was, yeah, mm. Not sure what else to say there, just, just damn. All right, last attempt though, last attempt. Either Havel, Havel, clearly I can't run past Havel. I was, I was thinking, I was like, you know what? I can run past him and after I run past, I'll be able to grab a bonfire and then I can fight him however many times it takes. I need to go test this uh, rise again thing more. Like go fight something like the watchdog with it. Because I really think what's happening is it's stopping my death, but then immediately after I'm getting I think I'm just getting hit in the death animation, so it doesn't matter. Like he doesn't realize where he's been hit from. why I'm trying to hit you. I can just do oh shit, it broke. Oh! 
fuck? Yeah, see? I'm, I'm, it's not, I don't know what's happening there. That's a little, alright, I'm gonna look into that, and I might just replace it with Tears of Denial. I don't know why, like, cause it, it sounds like an effect's going off, but clearly I'm not healing. So something is wrong, uh, regardless, we'll figure that out, we'll take down Havel, continue forward in the next part, so. Y'all stay tuned, I'm gonna figure out my, uh, my issue with the spell here, and then we will pick this up, uh, tomorrow with another episode.